Hello and welcome. Let's play Europa Universalis 4 as the Congo trying to unlock the African power achievement. So I decided to bleed these guys. There's an um, opportunity cost if I don't do it. Portugal is still hostile, so we might have to fight them uh, sooner than what I wanted. However, I'm gonna try to appease them and hopefully won't come to that, at least not until I'm ready. I apologize because I wanted to publish two episodes per day of this series but lately I've been very busy so that's quite um, at the moment it's quite difficult difficult for me to do that but we will see. Of course I want to admin. Reinforcements. We are above our first limit for by one. I'm sure that will change when we annex uh, these guys. But until then, it's gonna be quite costly. I'm not sure if I should uh, disband one regiment or not. We'll see. I have to win this siege if I want to annex these guys in a timely fashion. Because of the Allied in War modifier, I won't be able to uh, annex the war leader unless all their allies are um, defeated. There we go. Good. Our first vessel in, in this. Well, um, started with two vessels, but besides those two, this is our first uh, vessel made by force. Guys. Gonna take the dosh as we get bigger in the inflation for taking this kind of money decreases. I'm not sure if I should take all their stuff. Or make, make, make them a vassal. But making them a vassal would take a while to be able to annex them, so I'm gonna have to waste the points, the admin points, to core all this stuff. Get a claim. Like I said, if I didn't do this, it would have an opportunity cost. This will make us stronger, so Portugal will think twice before attacking, or at the very least, will increase the likelihood of their, their targeting someone else that's weaker. We'll see. I 
get rid of this fort. Too expensive. As usual, I'm waiting for the war exhaustion to tick down before I core the provinces. Fabricate another claim. Save uh, admin points. And I'm gonna keep blitzing these guys. Gain the um, economical power to face the major countries. Since I locked the Diplo power, I'm gonna wait a little while longer before attacking someone else. Get rid of the war exhaustion. Okay, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna try to connect my provinces in um, South America through land. So I'm gonna start by Paraiba. Um, all the way from there to um, near uh, Argentina, uh, today's Argentina. going to war quite soon. I'm uh, raising the army maintenance. Okay, time to core the provinces since we don't have war exhaustion. Exhaustion increases the, the price of coring the land, so whenever I can, I don't have war exhaustion when it's time to core. Yeah, Portugal Portugal still kind of hates us. These guys don't have any allies. So they make uh, they are a perfect target, but we still have a truce. Be over by November. By November, after the end of this month, get a, another nice event. Guys, uh, won't last much longer. We go with the minus twenty-five legitimacy. That will increase the revolt risk, the unrest by 2. Sorry, by 1, not by 2. Carpet Siege. Our little vessel is already helping out. Ooh. Our manpower pool is quite low, so I'm gonna take these guys out of uh, enemy territory to avoid suffering attrition. The colony just finished, so let's. Uh, colonizing. Jeep is a um, S7 development, so that's quite nice for colonizing.
send the troops by by sea to avoid having to fight the natives. There we go. We have Castille. Very colonizing, so I'm trying to keep them as happy as possible. to say at this point stuff carpet siege and um, hopefully fully on next time we'll see I don't know where these guys are going I guess we'll find out quite soon hopefully they are going all the way to our capital means that we'll have their uh, capital before they can siege ours. Probably they won't even get there due to the natives. Take advantage of some loot. Kind of um, late, kind of too late, so let's take some clear provinces, the ones that we can core. Can't core that. If I should make them a vassal. a long time to annex them I need the uh, need the uh, economical power now I have lots of uh, admin power so it won't be a big deal as usual uh, I'm not sure if I should take the inflation money because of the inflation Not worried with the religious unity at this point. I hope I don't regret it. For this stuff, quite a clean victory. No, almost no war exhaustion. As usual, fabricate claims. Our force limit increased, so let's hire more troops. The stronger we are, the better if we want to avoid being attacked by Portugal and their allies. It would be great if I could become a protectorate uh, of Portugal because that not would not only um, assure that we would not be attacked, but it would also make our tech much cheaper. As long as they are hostile, that won't happen. We'll see. Six percent overextension, not a big deal. If Portugal is still hostile, yep, unfortunately, because of that, especially because of that, we won't be able to become their protectorate. Some luck that will change in the future, we'll see.
look at um, our income now because we have some gold mines making 5.94 ducats per month due to the gold mines Save some dosh. I don't want to wait uh, very long, but I'm going to wait at least until this uh, claim is finished. We'll see. Let's explore a bit more. Gonna exile these guys by removing the, the conquistador. I've showed you um, a while ago. This will allow me to explore without having to face the natives. Explore faster. Fabricate another claim. That allied with four countries, even uh, one province miners can have almost uh, as many regiments as we do because of their special buildings. Careful. Exactly what I was afraid of. These guys overpowering regiment. They win the siege, they are gonna damage the colony. gonna lose this fight this is ridiculous we we've um, we had better rules and we had the general with the five shock and we still lost seriously tactics advantage I guess I'm gonna keep two regiments uh, at the colonies from this point on to avoid something similar. At least until we can um, have better military tech. Is amazing. Five shock, two maneuver, and one siege. Hopefully, he will uh, live for very long. And finally, we are at low stability thanks to some 
very nasty event and uh, it's very expensive to raise it we have a booming disaster probably the peasants war sure though Our internal conflict. So, it's now a good time to go to war. Okay, by doing this, I'm gonna um, duck one of um, these guys' uh, allies. I can, can piss them out sooner. And we won. War with the uh, Shibu. If we can take the, these provinces, or their army arrives uh, down here, possibly we'll see. We have a theologian now. I wish I had the money to hire the guy. I'm not gonna boost stability uh, while overextended, so I'm gonna wait for this course to finish before I boost stability. Quite uncomfortable because of the um, looming disaster. But I want to save points as much as possible. Kind of worried with the manpower situation, so gonna hire some mercs. Just a question of time. Making 1.67 ducats, so let's hire the, and we have some money in the bank. I'm gonna hire this guy for a while. Soon this will be court. May uh, first. Let's boost it to plus one stability to avoid the rebellions. Not sure uh, if I'm gonna unlock this uh, further down the road, but for now, let's uh, avoid increasing the price of boosting stability. some unrest probably due to war exhaustion so let's avoid taking attrition needlessly but still I'm gonna just in case I'm gonna leave a regiment here just in case the AI changes his mind and we lose the, lose the siege progress
guys. And explore. We won. Let's see if uh, we're gonna next him. Not yet. As expected. I guess we need to break some more heads because before we can annex these guys. Oops, misclicked it. If they will attach. Times they disregard this order. One of those times, unfortunately. Beat him in half. In case we are attacked, big stacks can withstand more. Um, more damage. Crap. More rebels. This is exactly what I was talking about, so we have time to reinforce. To win the battle, I hope. Pretty sure we are gonna win it uh, with the. They have a minus two. They have a tactics advantage. They have cavalry, they don't. And now they have even a crossing penalty, so yeah. Time to get wrecked. We don't have enough troops here to do the sieging. Still don't want to accept the peace treaty. Let's take less. Um, I'm gonna leave this province for later. And it's time for me to take a break continue this in the next episode thanks for watching and take care